All right, so piggybacking off a uh, previous segment I made earlier, like the night before, before I fell asleep at this desk with my headsets on doing homework. Also, yeah, that's a real sight to behold when you see me going. I recommend watching the video of that, by the way, if you're in the podcast form. To see that weird visual of me zoned out on my desk. But, anyways, piggybacking off the local high school sports stuff. There's something I've noticed that... It's driving me nuts. I don't care how you say this. What your opinion is. It doesn't matter. We had multiple local schools go into state. Do we hear about the small ones? Obviously not. I just want to know. Because it's the Ithaca Bulldogs who are going to state and kind of just getting the cold shoulder from our local media. And the average people, I'm sure a lot of them know. But my question is, if this were, hmm, I don't know, lacrosse, Logan, uh, yeah, well, real world plus one. If this were lacrosse Logan at State Baseball in Division 2, would it be getting ignored? No, they'd have been all over it like, like the NFL owners in a cheap suit. Where would they, uh... If West Salem were going and didn't fall in sectionals? Again, they'd have been all over it like a cheap suit. If the... The Crescent Lancers over Minnesota made it to state? Would they be all over it? Yes, unless there's a Aquinas tennis going on. Then they'll get forgotten about. Which. Yes, that's pathetic because you might as well ignore them for ping pong next time, guys. So, yeah. But. We got a local team in Ithaca at State Baseball. And that's the Madison viewing area in Madison's jurisdiction. How? They're in the same conference as DeSoto, Kickapoo, Lafarge. DeSoto, all those people in the cross have to do is hop down 35, they're there. Kickapoo, just hop down 14 uh, on Viroqua, you're there. You go far enough at Viro on 14, and eventually you'll find your way to the Ithaca Richland Center area. For, and then Lafarge, you take 56, you're there. But you think that's acknowledged? Nope. You find me somebody in Madison. I'm not saying they don't exist. You find me someone in Madison that's going to care about Wazika Steuben, the Seneca Indians, North Crawford Trojans, Ithaca Bulldogs, Weston Silver Eagles. You find me somebody in Madison that cares about those five teams. Because I will wait. I will wait until you give me a response and find me someone who cares about those teams. Because Oh, wait. They don't. It's as if they care about their teams in their area. I mean, seriously. They have the Madison area covering Platteville, even. 
pretty sure Madison people don't care about Platteville either. Nothing against Platteville, great town. But how many teams are they gonna dump on Madison and claim it's not their problem? And then still get ignored because they're small rural school. So yeah. That honestly makes me sad that the most Ithaca might get from our local media is a score on the bottom line. While meanwhile, the entire sports segment will be Aquinas. Because if we think of it, Aquinas isn't the only local team. They just get benefit of the doubt of being for 19 that's based in the Crescent, but says literally what's past as lacrosse, Wisconsin, oddly enough. They just have to hop across the Cass Street Bridge and they're there. Channel 8 just has to casually waltz down 7th Street and they're there. It's not that simple for the small schools like Ithaca and all that. But it's worth the drive. I'd argue that these small schools they have more entertaining baseball. They're more entertaining to watch for baseball than anything Aquinas has given me. Also, that Dietz kid that's their pitcher, I'm going to say this. Send him back to the Crescent. I want to know the greeting the Crescent Lancers would give him for leaving them to play in Wisconsin in an Aquinas Blue Golds jersey when he was very much all the way youth ball through to a certain point a La Crescent Lancer. Or is that just something I'm supposed to ignore and forget about because it shows that Aquinas is using athletes from other states and people ignore that. Just like in girls basketball. Is anyone going to acknowledge that the Davis family is just casually at Aquinas now acting like Central doesn't exist and they're uh let's see here. Their, their wallets, they're not taking a crowbar to their wallets to send their daughter there because, shoot, they're not paying a penny probably. If anything, they found a way to finesse the system to where a taxpayer burdens on them for that because everyone cheats the system in sports or something sometime. Even this dodo bird figured out how to do it. I'm not going to tell you how I cheated the system, though, because that's for you to find out. But either way, this shouldn't be a thing, yet here we are. May the Ithaca Bulldogs win state, because when it comes to media reporting, They'd be the forgotten state champions. Literally. The forgotten state champions. But yeah. Let's keep praising Aquinas because the media does it. And I'm going to say this. The guy we did have before he went off the radio airwaves... Ends off doing bigger, better, more entertaining things in life. <laughs> Sorry for that. But, uh, um, now you got to say a yawn sneeze at the same time. The guy that we had, 
that was on the radio and talked about these places and has gone doing bigger, better things. We need him back. We need more people like him back that will talk about these people, but they don't exist. We don't have them sitting around. They do things like what I am on their own time. So, good luck to Ithaca. Uh, I guess good for Aquinas at getting to state with athletes that I would like to see what jersey they'd be wearing if Aquinas didn't exist. And good luck to Altoona, which I guess is local. Close enough. I, so yeah, good luck to those teams.